For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the derivative of a trigonometric functions and six of them that you need to know. The first one is the derivative of sine x is cosine x. The second one, the derivative of tangent x is second square x. Then we have the derivative of second x is second x multiplied by tangent x. Next, we have the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. And then we have the derivative of cotangent x is equal to negative cosecant square x. And the derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x times cotangent x. So these are the things that you need to remember in order for us to find the derivative of a trigonometric functions. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, what is the derivative of 5 sine x minus 4 tangent x? So to simplify this one, let us have 5 and then the derivative of sine x minus 4 and then the derivative of tangent x. So let us simplify. Let us have 5. And then, the derivative of sine x is cosine x minus 4. The derivative of tangent x is second square x. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, what is the derivative of 8 second x minus 5 cosine x? So let us have... 8 and the derivative of second x minus 5 times the derivative of cosine x. So let us simplify. Let us have 8 and the derivative of second x is second x multiplied by tangent x minus 5 and the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. So let us simplify. 8 multiplied by second x times tangent x will be 8 second x times tangent x. And negative 5 multiplied by negative sine x is positive 5 sine x. And this will be our answer. On number 3, what is the derivative of 2 cotangent x minus 7 cosecant x? So to simplify, let us have 2 times the derivative of cotangent x minus 7 multiplied by the derivative of cosecant x. So let us have 2 and the derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant square x. And then we have negative 7. And the derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x times cotangent x. So let us simplify. Let us have 2 multiplied by negative cosecant square x is negative 2 cosecant square x. And negative 7 multiplied by negative cosecant x times cotangent x will be positive 7 cosecant x times cotangent x. And this will be our answer. On example number 4, what is the derivative of 3 cosecant x minus 9 tangent x minus second x? So to simplify, let us have 3 times the derivative of cosecant x plus 9 times the derivative of tangent x minus the derivative of second x. So let us rewrite 3 and the derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x times cotangent x plus 9 
and the derivative of tangent x is second square x minus the derivative of second x will be second x times tangent x. So to write our final answer, we have 3 multiplied by negative cosecant x cotangent x is negative 3 cosecant x cotangent x plus 9 second square x minus second x tangent x. And this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.